Hello and welcome back to our ES6 introduction on free code camp. This is handle a fulfilled promise with Zen. Promises are most useful when you have a process that takes an unknown amount of time in your code, i.e. something asynchronous, often a server request. When you make a server request, it takes some amount of time and after it completes, you usually want to do something with the response from the server. This can be achieved by using the then method. The then method is executed immediately after your promise is fulfilled with resolve. Here's an example. My promise dot then, and then uh, the result will be passed in there and it'll do something with that result that we get back from the promise. Result comes from the argument given to the resolve method. Add the then method to your promise. Use result as the parameter of its callback function and log result to the console. Okay, we could actually copy that. And we want it outside over here. So let's zoom out a little bit and look at this. Um, it takes in result and then it tells us it should log the result. So here, console.log and we're logging our result. Instead of my promise, it makes server request, make server request. So, if we run test, so we did pass. So let's look at this and see exactly what happened here. So we create a new promise, and our new promise takes in the resolve and reject, and basically we say, if response from server is true, then let's resolve the function, and we pass and we got the data. Uh, else, if it's not true, then we're going to reject the promise and say data is not received. So here, when we call make server request, it creates this new promise and our response from server is true. And because it's true, the promise will resolve. I mean, we are hard coding, hard coding uh, true. In an actual example, you would actually be getting some response from the server. And if that response is true, then it will resolve. And therefore, we got the data. If for some reason that response from the server uh, doesn't happen, then it will be false. And it will reject the promise. And this will never happen. Um, in this case, I mean, it, it resolves as true because we obviously made it true, and that's how this is working. So, I mean, the, the biggest thing that we're taking away from promises is that they allow us to execute some, some code after uh, some other task is done. And depending on whether it is done successfully or fails, then we will do something after that with the promise. In this case, we say if make server request uh, is resolved, then do this uh, console log the results of our promise, um, which would be we got the data. So, as long as you're understanding that, you guys are getting this lesson, and I'll see you in the next one.